Hello my dear students this is Shilpi Saxena welcome to my channel learning hub so today we are going to start with a new chapter evaluation it is very important chapter and little bit difficult to if you will understand the concept it will be easy for you to do the numerical part that is four marker question or three marker question so please concentrate on this video this is the chapter evaluation it's a stage of AI project cycle in which we have to test whether the model is working properly or not means if whether the model is capable of achieving the goal or not so this chapter will uh, cover the different methodologies whatever terminologies basically the terminology which will we will we will use in evaluating a model so what is evaluation it's a process of assessing whether assessing whether the project has achieved its intended objectives by drawing conclusion evaluation intends to provide recommendations for the improvement so when if somewhere we feel that the model is not working properly the the recommendation will be given based on the recommendation the changes are done so evaluation is basically testing the project whether it is it is uh, attending means basically uh, if it is able to achieve the goal so the next thing is what is overfitting overfitting see when you know very well when we have learned the uh, machine learning so what we did we we used to divide the data into two parts that is the training data and the test data okay and then finally unknown data was fed to the machine so training data was used to train the machine that for example i gave in my previous videos i gave example of cat and dog that we will give input to the machine different pictures of cat different pictures of dog and tell machine with the algorithm also with that this is the uh, picture of dog this is the picture of cat after feeding the different data of different pictures of cat and dog after some time the machine will be able to identify that this is a picture of cat and this is a picture of dog so this training is done through the training data and testing is done through the test data fine suppose now think about it ki, suppose what will happen if we are trying to test the machine on the training data the data was divided into two types of data different training data and different test data so if we are using the training data to test the machine then what will happen obviously the machine will uh, machine will give the correct output because the same training data was used for the training the machine so when the same training data is used for evaluation the condition is known as overfitting because it's of no use already the machine is trained for that type of uh, data for that data so obviously it will give the correct output so it may happen then we when we will feed the unknown data it may not identify it properly so this condition is overfitting now different terminologies which we are going to use for evaluation to understand this ter ter terminology we will take an example that we have an AI machine AI model which can predict the rainfall at hill station so see children the prediction can be made on the two condition first one is uh, there are two condition which should be considered first one is prediction means the basically the machine is predicting whether there will be snowfall or rainfall or not fine and then reality the what is the reality is there a snowfall or is there rainfall or not so two conditions we have to take care so see children this topic is very important if you will understand these four terms you can easily attempt the numericals which are asked in exam that is the last question of the exam so please concentrate on what what i am teaching and watch the video completely so suppose the case one is will there be snowfall today prediction and reality prediction says yes there will be snowfall fine and reality is yes snowfall is hap snowfall is going to happen means the reality it happened means snowfall happened this is the reality so this case is true positive now how you are going to learn that this is true positive you have to this is pin this is a um, tip that you have to take care then when prediction and reality both are same may it be yes or may it be no when both are same then this is true when both are different then this is false so when prediction matches reality 
the output is true when prediction does not match is reality the output is false in this case both are same so it is true now come to this portion how this is positive when prediction only we will consider only prediction in this case when prediction is yes so it is said to be positive when prediction is no it is said to be negative you can take a sense ki that if i am saying no that it is then it is going negatively no means negative thing yes means positive thing so in this case prediction and reality both are same so it is true and because prediction is yes so this case is positive so combining the two words it is true positive case now the case 2 will there be snowfall now see prediction is yes reality is no both are different because both are different that is why the output is false but prediction is yes yes means when machine is saying yes it is taken as positive feedback it is taken as positive prediction that is why it is known as false positive false because both are different and positive because the prediction is yes the case 3 prediction is no and reality is yes again both doesn't match both are different so the output is false now prediction is no no goes negative that is why the output is false negative the last case is both no because the both prediction and reality are same there will not be any snowfall prediction is no and actually it doesn't happen so because both are same the output is true but prediction is negative it is going negative that is why it is true negative combining the both both the words it will become true negative next thing is what is confusion matrix the most most important part of the syllabus that is the confusion matrix it's a tabular form the table when the uh, it is a table which is used to describe the performance of model this true positive true negative false positive and false negative are put it into the table that table is known as con confusion matrix the data which we will feed in the table that will be used to evaluate the model see this is the confusion matrix you don't have to mug it up but you have to understand the concept if you will understand this concept then uh, then you will be able to attempt all the numerical question because this this jo this matrix is not fixed may it may it happen that here we have prediction so it may have reality here if it has reality it may be prediction maybe here me we may have no here we may have yes so that doesn't matter you have to concentrate on this particular portion how this will be filled so i'll just tell you just a minute let me just remove this okay so how you are going to fill this thing what you will do is prediction yes prediction is yes reality is yes i told you when both the things are same this here where the column and row meet is this one so you have to see when both prediction and reality are same so the result is true and because the prediction is yes that is why it will become positive then next thing is yes and no prediction is yes here we are, they, they are meeting at this point prediction is yes reality is no both are not matching when both are not matching the output will be false but prediction is yes then that is why it will become false positive now prediction is no reality is yes means this cell this cell because both the prediction and reality doesn't matches that is why the output will be false but prediction is no that is why the output will be negative now prediction is no and reality is no both matches means both prediction and reality are same when both are same the output is true but because prediction is showing no no goes negative that is why this will be true negative i hope you understood this confusion matrix now based on this if you will understand this then you will be able to attempt all the questions now so an example 
there's just a, just a small example. Suppose a machine predicts that it is raining or not. Uh, what will be the correct classification? You have to identify the classification. Machine predicts correctly that it is raining. Now see children, machine predicts correctly that it is raining. It means it predicts correctly and it is raining also. Both the things prediction and reality are same. So output will be true. And machine predicts that it is raining. That means machine says yes. So true positive. The output will be true positive. Next is machine predicts that it is raining. But it is not raining. So machine prediction is yes. And reality is no. When both the prediction and reality doesn't match. It means the output will be false. But machine predicts yes. So the output will be positive. So the output is, the, we will combine the both the words. The output is false positive. Next example, machine predicts that it is not raining, but it is raining. So machine says no and reality is yes. One is no, other is yes, means the output will become false. But machine says no, no goes negative. So the output is false negative. The last one, machine predicts correctly that it is not raining. It means machine says no and the reality is no. Both are no, both are same. So output is true. But because machine says no, that is why the output is negative. It goes negative. So it is true negative. So I hope you understood this con uh, concept of confusion matrix. In my next video, I will be explaining how you are going to uh, calculate recall, precision and uh, accuracy. So, please stay tuned. Subscribe my channel. Thank you and have a nice day ahead.